Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today for you guys, I got another LSPDFR tutorial. Today we're going to be doing ELS. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, most people could probably do it by themselves if they wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and do a video because it's something that I'm installing in LSPDFR and I said I would make a video on everything I install. So here we are. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to press the download this file button. Uh, they, with the DLC that we got in the summer, uh, something to do with the bounties or whatever, in, uh, online, they added this, uh, this full, this file thing here. You're gonna need to install this to make this mod work, so we're gonna go ahead, we're going to install the most recent version of ELS, then we're gonna let that install, give it a second, so start it in about a second, boom, we're gonna go back, we're gonna download this again we're gonna agree and now we're gonna download advanced hook the rockstar changed something so they had to add this so uh now without this the mod won't work so you need that now so we can go ahead we can close this uh for this mod you're also gonna need script hook i already have that installed as you can see it's somewhere in here yeah right there so to install script hook uh you're just gonna want to press this download button and it'll start downloading and you can open it uh, I'm gonna open it with Renrar just like I did with everything else let's see close that now we're gonna go back to our GTA 5 main directory and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click in the bin folder and you're gonna copy and paste these uh, these three folders and put place them in your GTA 5 main directory just like that, script hook V is installed. So we're gonna go ahead, we're going to go to our GTA 5 main directory, mine's right here. Uh, for Epic users, you're going to want to go to your library, press the three dots at the bottom right of the game, manage, and you're gonna wanna press this thing that looks like a file explorer, and it'll bring you to your GTA 5 main directory. For Steam, you can go ahead Click on GTA 5, the cogwheel, manage, browse local files. All right. The, uh, like I said previously, this is for Epic users. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this in our Epic GTA 5 main directory. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and open another file explorer. Let's get advanced hook open. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this with Rinrar. This is already gonna open WinRAR, close that, boom. WinRAR is free if you wanna use it. it. Just try to get me to buy something, but you don't need to buy it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, these are all like documentation, you don't need these. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to installation, Grand Theft Auto, and you're going to drag these three folders, ignore that, because this advanced hook is out of date. So you're going to want to drag these three in here. You're going to get a new ELS folder and an ASI and an INI folder. We're going to go ahead, left click on the on the buffer zone. We're done with this. We can close this. Now we're in advanced hook. This is the official like thing for advanced hook, so it should be up to date. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to drag and drop it, and boom, ELS is now installed. Pretty straightforward, like I said earlier. We're done with that, we can close that and this, and let's hop in the game. All right, so here we are in the game with a cop car. We're gonna go and we're gonna get in, and to turn the ELS on, you're gonna use your J, P to make the lights on. You got stage one through three. This is one on this particular car, nothing really pops up. Two, there's some lights, but I think they're, it's a little weird because there's supposed to be a light bar on this car, but it's fun without one, so here we are. But either way, you got three stages of lighting. Turn your siren on, it should be G, yep. And um, yeah, that's pretty much ELS. I'm not sure if these car, cars over here have it. We can uh, go ahead and try. But uh, yeah, this one doesn't. This is... It's gonna work best on add-on cars. I just don't have any in the game at the moment, but as you can see, it works. I think this is the same as that car it is, so I'm not even gonna try it. Let me see. 
see if I can spawn another one. Police. Oh, I can't spell today. There we go. It's got a light bar. Okay. This should this should work a little bit better. Oh, this one doesn't even have an ALS. Okay. Well, you guys get the point. That's what it looks like. You got three stages of lighting. Um, every car is going to look a little different anyway because they all have their different lighting patterns and whatever else the dev decides to add for them. Um, so, yeah. But that, it was a tutorial of how to install ELS. If you guys found the video helpful or enjoyable, consider smashing the like button. If you're new, consider smashing the button and turn on post notifications so you can know when I go live and upload another tutorial. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.